here is Catherine Jacobs now. That show finished at 11 o'clock last <laughs> night. You then had the lineup. You were at Windsor Castle. I'm trying to work out. I saw you tweeting at I think 2 a.m. Yeah. And then again at 4 a.m. <laughs> How much sleep have you had? I've had literally two hours sleep, <laughs> and uh, I nearly came in in my pajamas. So excuse the jeans, but it was. <laughs> now here's a very odd fact about you. You're, you're a bit of a weirdo, aren't you? Because you sleep with your eyes open. <laughs> I, well, I sleep with my eyes a little bit open. I, but I, did you last night for your two hours? Were you like, like that? <laughs> It felt like that. Do you sleep better or worse for having your eyes open? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do you, do I don't really. I read that somewhere, and it was like what's it, it called? Was as if your... I sleep with my eyes wide open. I don't. What's your weird zombie bit. affliction I called? Don't know. <laughs> 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 it does not make it any bigger than it is. <laughs> it's, really, it's a fascinating <laughs> fact about you. The weird open-eyed sleeper. No, it's an exaggerated fact about me. But we should explain <laughs> that you don't sleep with your eyes open because you are a ninja ready to pounce at any moment. <laughs> it is just literally a little bit open, like oh, a cat, like a little bit open. Uh, can I you give us sometimes. a little example? Maybe? No. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about this embarrassing. <laughs> Tell us <laughs> about last like night. Freak. How uh, <laughs> special was it? Come to on, weirdo. What was, was last night like? Absolutely <clears throat> amazing. Gosh, I felt so privileged. I think all performers are a little bit superstitious, mm. but um, the very last thing I do before I go out on stage is I have a little word with my dad and just mm. ask him to bless my voice and to have a good performance. And if I don't get to do that, you know, I get rushed on stage. So you lost your dad at a young age. When didn't I was you? 15, and my dad was like my my biggest sort of supporter and drove me around to all my singing lessons and stuff so you know not having him is when I go on stage it's like always a moment just to think of him and I don't know makes me feel better mm -hmm. and there's also an order in which you put on your shoes right shoe first and really? like, you're making me sound crazy wow you're an absolute <laughs> loon aren't you I don't think it's crazy I think as you say there are superstitions that performers have and I can imagine that once it's in your head that you should yeah. do it it's quite hard to do anything differently yeah and I think I, I think that's the thing we always just want to go out and do the best show that you can and you you get into these little habits and you know I know other performers are the same they have silly yeah. little things too so now you perform for the Queen quite a lot now so when you meet her in the lineup d does she say hi Catherine how are you again or <laughs> how does it go um I, I think it depends what the sort of you know situation is what um, happened last night was she chatty was she uh yesterday it was a sort of quite a quick um mm. lineup but uh we were all the artists were invited to windsor castle in the week on friday for um a, a tea party really so i had a little bit more of a chat with her then um mm. did about... you ever think when you were young catherine that one day no. you'd be having tea with the queen <laughs> no. at the castle mm. <laughs> absolutely not and you know my my family are definitely um royal fans and mm. so you know i was brought up um, in that way and no gosh never did I ever imagine mm. that and and last night I had my mum in the audience who absolutely loved it and oh, it was I just bet. probably you know one of the most exciting things of, of my career being involved in that show last night okay. it really was overwhelming just to see what a huge spectacle it was and just mm. lovely to celebrate 90 years in anyone's life is amazing. amazing but 90 years of the monarch is mm. incredible you're the mum of a very small baby still yes. just she's just seven and a half months yes. old how has that changed your life how is that affecting your work how do you manage to look so amazing um it, i'm besotted with her she's absolutely incredible and um best thing that we ever did you know my husband and i loving it and um, I think it just like changes a perspective on everything, mm. you know, makes me choose the work things that I really want to do, mm. you know, because I don't want to be away from here. But actually also made me want to go back to work because my mum was uh, the sort of the breadwinner of our mm. of our house. And I, you know, had a great work ethic and in, in her as a role model, you know, she showed my sister and I that we could be independent. And mm. I having a daughter then made me think, well, I want to be that for my daughter mm. and I want to show her that I'm passionate and dedicated. One of the things that we've been talking about this morning is the sort of anxieties that teenagers, particularly teenage girls, can experience when they're online and Piers was talking about the kind yeah. of pressure mm. to mm. seek validation online, to see the likes that you get on Instagram photographs. Yeah. Mm. You know, you're someone in the public eye with a certain image. What advice would you give to teenage girls about dealing with the pressure that you get on social media? I think that it is definitely something that I'm already thinking about in how I'm going to deal with my daughter because mm -hmm. I definitely think there are pressures and I think what I what I've been thinking about is how I'm going to deal from early on showing her powerful 
independent, successful women who don't need to do that, mm. who don't need to flash everything. Who, you know, well who can, said, Miss Jenkins. And, and if I can give her role models to follow, I hope that I can teach her from a young age. Less Kim Kardashian naked bird flipping selfies and more yeah. empowering women exactly. doing extraordinary things. Exactly. Right? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to try and do. Um, but I think it has to come from a young see, I mean, age. Susanna had this thing the other day, you did a brilliant tweet, but the, the male oh, yeah. did some story about some dress you were wearing, and somebody called you, what, chunky or something? Chunkier than your average celeb. Which I, that, that was a comment, that wasn't, that wasn't <laughs> a Daily Mail reporter who wrote that, mm. that was a comment underneath. And my view on those things is, if you are thin-skinned, mm. do not read the comments. Never. And do not hope to seek validation of who you are or how you look by going online. Yeah. I don't get complaints in real life about my weight. Well, the problem is, you, I mean, well, for, for, for both of you, to be either side of someone as felt as me, <laughs> obviously, it, it's quite difficult. Obviously, the word chunky is going to be used, and it won't be about me. But, um, no, I, I just find that kind of thing so hideous. And actually, men, you know, I could pretend we get it as much. We just don't. No. People are just not that interested in how blokes really look. But don't, um, don't but women, rely on no. what people say about you online to determine how you feel about yourself. That Absolutely, would be... Absolutely, yeah. I, I totally agree with you. It's yeah. sort of, if you, if you start to look into that, then... That you know, way it's, madness, yeah, yes. Well, there's Absolutely. no better role model that, actually, than either of you, actually. Oh, oh please. Nice it's the you. nicest thing you've ever <laughs> no, Two very strong, independent women, beautiful, who I think are good role models. But only one of them Thank with you. an album out, which yeah. is... It's called Celebration. <laughs> <laughs> it's out now, and the, I've given my part of the advance to um, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee I Press, will listen so to, to it uh, in the middle of uh, my sleep tonight with my eyes wide open. <laughs>